Readers don't just read words, they understand words. Today, I want to teach you that readers learn new words from all the books they read. When you figure out how to read a word, but you don't know what it means, you stop and think about it. You can look for clues in the picture and other words to understand the new words the best that you can. Tools for understanding our books. Check that you're getting it by rereading. Make a movie to picture what's happening. We can act it out to understand. We think what might happen next. Keep track of who's talking by looking at speech bubbles and quotation marks. You can say the word as best you can and think about what it means. I have to admit something to you. I started reading the next chapter of Zelda and Ivy. I was so excited to read more about these two, but that's not all. You see, there was a word that I had never heard before, and I just mumbled through it and kept reading. But I realized that I didn't really understand what was going on. I also felt that I didn't take charge of my reading because I just ignored the word. So I'm wondering if you'll give me a second chance to be the boss and try again. All right, let me start this over. And this time when I get to a brand new word, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to, I'm going to work hard to read and understand the word. Chapter three, the secret, that's it. That's the word and it's right there in the title. So last time I read this, I just kind of mumbled through it. But let me drop that bad habit and work hard to read this word. Concoction. Concoction? Well, I could say the word, but I still don't know what it means. I'm going to use the picture and the words on the page to help me understand it better. Hmm. I see this jar right below the title. There seems to be some liquid inside. Oh, and here I see Ivy is holding that same jar. Maybe the words will give me more clues. Early one morning, Zelda sat down to write a haiku poem for her grandmother. Hmm. I don't think that has anything to do with the concoction. I'll keep reading. Ivy came in, shaking a jar of liquid. Oh, that might be a clue. It's the jar. And yes, I was right. There's liquid inside it. What's that? asked Zelda. I'm making a secret concoction, said Ivy. She poured in some orange juice. Hmm. She's pouring in orange juice. Maybe a concoction is like a drink. I better keep reading to see if there are more clues. You should add blue, said Zelda. I don't think so, said Ivy. She mixed in a mint leaf and an eyelash. Wait a second. Now she's putting an eyelash in? Yuck. Maybe a concoction is some kind of weird mixture or like, a magical potion. So let me see if I can talk about this word to show that I understand it. A concoction is a kind of liquid. It's like a mixture of things. It's like a drink, but it's not really a yummy drink because there are a lot of things mixed up in it. It could be like a magical potion. Hmm, what do you think? Did I get the job done? Did I work hard not to just read the word, but also to understand the word? All right, let's keep reading. Put in cinnamon hearts, said Zelda. Make it a love potion. Oh, so a concoction is kind of like a potion. I was right. Ivy screwed the top back on the jar. No, she said. What are you going to do with it? asked Zelda. We'll see, said Ivy. She gazed at the jar. She wasn't sure herself. Zelda went back to her haiku. She rubbed her forehead with her lucky jewel. She scratched her knuckles. Rats, she said. I'm stuck. Why not take a break? 
asked Ivy. When I'm looking back at the pictures and the words and thinking about what I reread here, I'm kind of confused on the word gazed. I was able to read it, but I'm not exactly sure what it means. I'm noticing what Ivy's doing in the picture, and she's doing something at the jar. She gazed at the jar. What is she doing at the jar? Hmm. Will you gaze at something? Hmm. I think maybe gazed is thinking hard, and she's not sure what she's doing with it yet. Maybe she's looking at it and thinking. Maybe that's what gazed means. Ivy opened a bag of nutty crunchies and gave a handful to Zelda. Then she popped one into the jar. Zelda sat down again. I will finish this poem if it's the last thing I do. Eugene came over to play go fish with Ivy. They were on their eighth game when Zelda jumped up and stomped away. I give up, she said. Zelda is having a hard day, said Ivy. She's out of ideas. I know what she needs, said Eugene. Creative juice. Creative juice gets the ideas flowing. So what exactly is creative juice? asked Ivy. Mm, I'm not sure, said Eugene. It's a secret concoction. Perfect, said Ivy. Eugene and Ivy got to work. When Zelda came back downstairs, Ivy handed her a present. Open it, said Eugene. Zelda tore off the paper and read the label. Creative juice. How does it work? Ivy sprinkled the creative juice on Zelda's head. Some of it spilled on the journal as well. Uh-oh. My poem is ruined, wailed Zelda. She threw herself down on the floor. Then she looked carefully at her journal. She turned it one way and another. Wait a minute, she said. This looks like a lake at sunset. She got out her colored pencils. I'll make a picture for grandmother instead. Wow, said Eugene. That creative juice really works. Ivy smiled. Lucky I got the recipe right. Tools for solving and checking hard words. Try something. Think about what's happening. Check the picture. Does that make sense? Think what kind of word would fit. Get a running start. Does that sound right? Do a slow check. Crash the parts together. Read it part by part. Try it many ways, using long and short vowel sounds. Use a word you know, and check if it's a snap word, meaning a word on the word wall. Does it look right? Understanding new words. Say what kind of word it is. Describe it. Think of another word that means the same thing. Say what it's not. Give an example. So here's an example of the word jogging. It is an action word. It's kind of like running, but slower. Definitely not walking. It could be for exercise or just because they're in a rush to get somewhere. Readers, remember to use your new tools to help you understand your books. Off you go.